everyone. My name is Jeanne and this is Moon Reflections. Today is the first day of spring. This is the spring equinox. And I hope that you had a chance to go, go outside and connect to nature. As I went outside, the air was so pristine that I could... Um, I could smell the uh, wild scent of deer, which is like a tangy, leathery, clean uh, smell. Uh, so it was sunny, an excellent day to connect to Mother Earth. So the spring is, of course, about change and rebirth. And according to the macrobiotic principle, it is connected to the wood element. And the wood element is about going up. All the energies that were stagnant and dormant and sleeping, they are awakening and juices are going and sprouts and all the greens are shooting up. And everything else is also moving within our bodies and in our field as well. Um, my last uh, more reflection was uh, technically challenged. So I would like to integrate some of the uh, ideas which were meant to be a prelude for this one, which is of course about death and the birth and cycles. But at first I like to stay with the wood element on the physical level, which means that um, our organs, amongst our organs, it is the liver and the gallbladder that belongs to the wood element. So this is an excellent time to do a cleansing a liver cleansing, or just juicing, or um, eating uh, those beautiful kiwi zöld salads, something that um, supports this movement in the body. And it is a good time, because it is about birth and rebirth, to let go of all the dead things from our field, from our bodies, and especially from the liver. Okay. Sour taste is very good for the liver, with a little bit of a bitters, bitter um, herbs. So, Spring and liver brought me to, um, to the idea that I would like to share with you, which is that uh, according to John O'Donohue, the Greeks believed that, um, the ancient Greeks, that is, believed that um, time had a, a secret structure. And... Um, so there is this linear time that we as humans are used to. But in that, this is a man-made time, but in the universe there is also a time when there is an epiphany, which is like a sudden moment of revelation. It's almost like an aha moment when the light is on suddenly and you can see very clearly across space and time and understand something huge. Uh, that's what it is. It's a huge insight realis and realization. Okay, So that absolutely opens up time in a very different way. Another um, very sacred 
happening in time when there is a crisis, which is a, a Greek root for crisis in English. And a crisis when um, our cyclical and known life and time suddenly gets scrambled, okay? And everything is entangled and the directions are totally confused. And don't we just know that <clears throat> in the past year? Crisis is, of course, a crisis is an excellent opportunity because everything that was um, that we got used to uh, has to be refreshed. So it's not an easy but an excellent opening in time. And the third one that the Greeks uh, mentioned or John Donahue mentioned is that the Greeks had two words for time. And for the linear time, there was the word chronos, which meant two hours, one week, three years. Okay, we are very familiar with this. But there was also another name for time, which is kairos. And kairos is like the right moment to do something. It's not two minutes later, not when I retire, not when the kids grow up, at that very moment. Which I would say present time. Okay? Even in the Bible, Christ distinguishes between the two times and one the present time belongs to the creator and linear time is for people the pythagoreans also believed that um, kairos was the law of the universe. So let's say there was a star to be born or a galaxy to be formed. That was the uh, uh, right moment for this to happen. And no son would say, oh, I uh, don't feel like it. I will start tomorrow because that would be linear time. Okay. So this is a fundamental law. And I brought this up because crisis, the opportunity that we use these little moments to change this untangled mess um, that we are thrown at, these little moments to act are very important. So the past year brought up everything, basically, to the consciousness to look at, all sorts of unpleasant things. And um, we all long to be back last February, let's say. Last February, I had a ticket to have a group in Morocco, I had a ticket to go to Egypt with another group. That time will not come back. <sighs> so we had to let go. And crisis came. And with the crisis, there were openings. Opportune moments. When there was time for a new creation, a new decision. And these 
moment can be used only if we are not stuck in past time. Okay, I hope I... Let, I'm, I'm going to try to explain it a little bit better or in different way. Okay. So, crisis brings us uh, an opportunity for a total reboot in life. I would even say it is required. When crisis hits, it means that the system or the cycles of life that we got used to has to be changed. If someone is faced with, with a health challenge, the first thing that a person does changes lifestyles, changes diet, changes everything because the old one didn't work. Okay? If there is a divorce, again, we have to look at the partner, my relationship in the story, and we have to change things in order to not repeat the same cycle. So, the same way we have a crisis, and it asks us to change things because the old way did not work. And however badly it went, we are still attached to the comfortable, well-known, old, not working system. So it's very um, challenging to let go. Every time we let go, we open up this space for something new. And this is a new cycle that starts growing within and without. Okay? And when we start this new cycle, a refreshed cycle, a new life, a spring energy, a wood energy in us, this is life, this is growth, and this is birth. So spring is liver. If I cleanse my liver, it is also going to affect my gallbladder. It is going to affect my spleen because my immune system is going to be stronger. It is going to affect my digestive system and also my heart, so the whole body benefits. Okay? May, when my body benefits inside, all the bodies that are connected to me, all the souls that are connected to me, will benefit as well. So maybe one of the changes in this new time that we have to consciously make that the transformation of one is the transformation of the collective. So just like I cannot poison my liver without poisoning my immune system and my digestive system, we cannot poison one part of the earth thinking that it is 5,000 miles from here and it won't affect us. Okay? So, When we so empower our bodies with the new um, decisions, we come into health. 
when we stay with fear or anger or hatred, we disempower ourselves. And disempowerment leads to illness. Okay, so this is springtime. This is, we were presented a crisis, and we are uh, at springtime presented with the opportunity to be in Kairos in present time. Kairos is like a divine sparkle that sets the whole system alive. Remember I mentioned that in all cells there is this divine sparkle called entelechy. All the cells. Okay? When we are at home in all the body, in all the cells, and there is a divine download, Kairos, present time, I can make changes. If I have fears, I cannot act on it. Maybe I can act on it 50% or 5% because half of me back there a year ago in Egypt. Understand? So, I would like to ask you, please, um, to sit a little bit and let's connect to our breath, conscious breath first. And I love the breath because every inhale is kairos, present time. And what we exhale is the past that's let go. And we rebirth and let go what is dead. Cycles of life. So please bring the conscious breath into the spine. And the spine is like a supportive, strong masculine within our system. So please do connect to your physical and spiritual masculine in your spine. And with each and every breath, please send the intention that you have a strong physical and spiritual backbone, a flexible one, a flowing one, a connected one. And connect the breath from the spine to all the bone structure and feel how strongly it supports you. Call yourself home into every cell of your bone. And when you are so supported, then it is safe to breathe into the soft feminine belly. And since it is spring, please breathe into the liver. And bring in the energy of this beautiful juice flowing up from the earth in nature, flowing up in all the trees, life force in the liver. This is what you inhale and exhale, all frustration from the liver. Inhale life, hope, exhale anger. Inhale into the gallbladder. Exhale bitterness. 
can hear nectar and sweetness into your gallbladder. As, as soon as your liver is lighter and the frequency is higher, please inhale into your spleen with gratitude. Your spleen has been supporting you 24-7 with all the heavy energies protecting you. Inhale with real love into the spleen. And now please go into the second chakra and connect with the breath to your sacred seeds of creation. Connect it with the breath. Connect it with your heart. and connect to it with deep respect. This is your creation. This is your work yet to be done. This is the partner yet to be loved. This is the dinner yet to be cooked. This is your child yet to be birthed. Connect to it with every breath. And it is a symbolic seed. And there is many infinite within us. And each and every time when Kairos opens up, there is a seed. There is another one. And another one. And springtime is about that. Birthing and creating, connecting to our seeds. It is a sacred creation. And it is a high frequency, and when you raise your frequency inside, you raise it outside. We are interconnected. Whatever is inside, it is also on the outside. Whatever is above, it is also below. If the universe works in Kairos, Kairos it is in our body. And we are on and on and on flowing and creating. I would like to close with a very short excerpt from uh, John O'Donoghue's morning prayer. So please close your eyes and let the words fall into your every cell. Every cell is like a tiny flower of life. And within that tiny flower of life, there is Antaveki, a divine spark. So please do connect with your breath to every cell and let the words Bring that antaveki into action. May I live this day compassionate of heart, clear in word, gracious in awareness, 
courageous in thought, generous in love. Thank you everyone. You have a beautiful spring day, spring evening and spring night. Good night.